Unlocking the meaning of claim that. Hello, English enthusiasts around the world. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase that can be a little tricky to master. Claim that. Understanding this phrase is key to not only enhancing your English comprehension but also to expressing your thoughts more clearly. So, let's explore what it means when someone uses the phrase, claim that, and how you can use it correctly in your own conversations. When someone says they claim that something is true, they are stating their belief or assertion that it is the case. However, it's important to note that a claim does not always mean the statement is a fact. A claim can be based on evidence or it can be someone's opinion or belief that they feel is true. For example, she claims that she saw a celebrity at the mall. The company claims that their product is the best on the market. In these sentences, claim that introduces a statement that the speaker believes to be true but it is up to the listener to judge the validity of that claim. Using claim that in a sentence is straightforward once you know that it's often followed by a clause, a part of a sentence that has its own subject and verb. Let's see it in action. He claims that the work will be done by tomorrow. They claim that their service is unmatched. Remember, the clause that comes after Claim that can be a simple statement or a more complex idea. Sometimes, when people use claim that, they imply that they are skeptical or doubtful about the statement being true. The tone of voice and context are crucial here. It's not just about what is said, it's also about how it's said. Consider the difference. Without doubt, he claims that he has the necessary qualifications for the job. With a hint of doubt, he claims that he has the necessary qualifications for the job, but I haven't seen any proof. The phrase can be slightly altered to fit different contexts. For example, making a claim, when you have a formal assertion, usually supported by evidence. Laying claim to, when you are declaring ownership or right to something. False claims. Assertions that are proven to be untrue. These variations show how versatile claim that can be. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase claim that. I hope this video clarifies how to use this phrase effectively in your English communication. Remember, whether you're making a claim, questioning one, or encountering this phrase in reading and listening, Understanding the context is key. Keep practicing, keep questioning, and, as always, enjoy the journey of learning English. Until next time, take care and happy learning.